Hello everyone, my name is Ziamaro and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a quick guide to getting yourself started with gaming on Linux. I'm going to need to do another guide in the future on getting Linux installed on your system in the first place, but for this video I'm presuming you already have Linux installed. I'm also sticking to the essentials for this video, so I'm not going to be looking at stuff like CPU governors, virtual machines, custom kernels or any of that sort of thing. This guide is aimed at newer users to help you get the basic gaming functionality you might expect from your operating system. But what I am going to be going through is getting your graphics drivers, mouse drivers, disabling mouse acceleration, and then getting your games up and running through Steam and Lutris. So first off, which distro should you use? Okay, okay. I said I'm presuming you already have Linux installed and ready to go, but the distro you're using does affect some of the instructions I'm going to give you. And actually the reason I'm doing this guide before a guide to installing Linux is because I want to use just one distro as an example and I'm not sure which one yet. But needless to say, Google or whichever search engine you prefer is your friend when you're trying to solve a problem, as I mentioned in my other video about the Linux mindset. With that being said, I'm going to be using Pop! OS and Manjaro in my examples because, at least in my opinion, they're the easiest distros for getting your games and gaming hardware working. So let's get started with graphics drivers. If you're on a desktop computer, this is pretty simple. Distros like Manjaro and Pop! OS make installing your graphics drivers super easy. In the case of Pop! OS, you'll have noticed on their website that you download either the open source AMD slash Intel image or the proprietary Nvidia one. This makes things really easy for a new user because you'll have your graphics drivers installed and up to date from the get go. In the case of Manjaro, before you start installing the distro, you can choose free or non free graphics drivers. And once Manjaro is installed, you can always go to the hardware detection in the Manjaro settings manager. And from there, you can choose to automatically install open source or proprietary drivers. Long story short, if you're using an Nvidia graphics card, you'll want to go with the proprietary or non-free option. And for everything else, the open source drivers are the way to go. Now, if you're using a laptop with Nvidia Optimus, you're gonna have a few more issues and right now the solution is never particularly elegant. Manjaro automatically gives you Bumblebee, which functions in a similar way to how Windows handles it, but it has some performance overhead, doesn't support Vulkan, and therefore isn't really viable for gaming. Pop! OS is probably the better option here because it gives you Optimus Switch. If you're using the default GNOME desktop on Pop! OS, you can switch between Nvidia and Intel drivers using the system menu at the top right of your desktop. The only issue with this is that you have to reboot to switch between the two. Now there is a way to run on Intel graphics but open a second X server using Nvidia graphics but setting that up is beyond the scope of this video. For beginners I would recommend just going with Pop! OS if you're using a laptop with Nvidia Optimus. Next up let's look at disabling mouse acceleration. If you're a serious gamer this is something you'll notice in Linux right away. Mouse acceleration is on by default with most distros. One notable exception to this is Linux Mint, so kudos to them. But if you're on pretty much any other distro, it will probably be on. This is something you'll almost certainly want to disable as a gamer. On Pop! OS, you simply need to go to your mouse and touchpad settings and disable mouse acceleration from there. On other distros, the solution may vary. If you're using KDE as your desktop environment, disabling mouse acceleration will be in the system settings, just like with Pop! OS. And if you're using GNOME, the simplest way is to just install GNOME tweaks through your package manager open it up, go to keyboard and mouse and find acceleration profile. Change that to flat and you're done. For other desktop environments and distros, I would definitely recommend just having a search on Google. I'm sorry to give you a just Google it answer, but due to the vast number of distros out there, if I told you to edit X or Y config and that's not how it works on your distro, I would be doing you a disservice. Next up, mouse drivers. Almost all mice should work right out of the gate. The reason you might want your mouse drivers though is to set polling rates, set your DPI, and maybe some more advanced stuff like changing what each button does on your mouse or setting the RGB lighting if that's your thing. First of all, you'll need to identify which mouse drivers, if any, will work for your mouse. For Razer mice, you have Polychromatic and Open Razer. For Logitech, Steel Series, and a few other mice, you have Lib Ratbag and Piper. And for Corsair, you have CKB Next. This is where Manjaro makes things quite a lot easier for you. The quickest and easiest way to get these drivers installed is to go to your package manager, go to preferences, then AUR and enable AUR support. After that, you can just search for the relevant drivers and get them installed. 
On PopOS or other Ubuntu-based distros, you'll need to add PPAs to get your drivers. For Polychromatic, which is for Razer devices, you can go to their website and take a look at the installation instructions for Ubuntu. For Logitech and a few other devices, you'll want to get Piper and Libratbag installed. Same thing as with Polychromatic, your best bet is to go to their website and follow the instructions for Ubuntu. With most of these things, it should just work the same way for PopOS. Just like with disabling mouse acceleration, there are so many gaming mice on the market, so it would be impossible to give you instructions for every mouse and distro combination. Most rolling release distros, I have to say, make getting mouse drivers a lot easier than their Ubuntu-based counterparts. So Manjaro might be a good bet if you're having trouble getting mouse drivers on another distro. For example, at the time of making this video, the Corsair drivers for Linux don't actually have a package that works on Ubuntu-based distros, and that includes Pop! OS. You could probably get hold of the source code and compile it from that, but that's a little bit beyond beginners. So, now that you've got your hardware working hopefully, let's move on to getting your games installed and running. And there are two pieces of software you'll want to download to make this very easy for you. First up, Steam. Steam is an absolute godsend for Linux gamers. Not only can you search the store for games that are Linux compatible, you can even get games that aren't Linux native working a lot of the time thanks to Proton. On Manjaro, Steam is actually installed by default. And on Pop! OS, all you need to do is go to the Pop! Shop and install Steam from there. Once you have Steam installed, if you want to run native Linux games or whitelisted games on Proton, you should just be able to install them and run them with basically no additional steps. However, you can get a lot of non-whitelisted Windows games working as well, but to do that, you'll have to take an extra step. To do this, go to Steam Settings, go to Steam Play, and then tick Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Now, fair warning here, not every non-whitelisted game is going to work, but there are a surprising number of games that do actually work, and the best way to find out what works is to go to protondb.com. ProtonDB is a third-party site that allows users to share whether or not they can get their Steam games working through Proton. It's a really useful resource to find out, first, will a game work before you buy it, and second, are there any extra steps you need to take to get it working flawlessly? With non-whitelisted games, your mileage may vary, but I've had pretty decent success getting things running so far. For example, I bought Risk of Rain 2 a month or so ago, and it worked pretty much flawlessly with no additional setup. Battle Right, on the other hand, has some FPS stutter that doesn't seem to be fixable. All in all though, Steam and ProtonDB are great resources to get the majority of your games working. If, however, the games you want to play aren't on Steam, you have another option, Lutris. This is another game changer for Linux users. To get this installed on both Manjaro and Pop! OS, you'll just need to go to the Package Manager and install Lutris. After that, make your way over to Lutris.net and have a search for the game you want to play. Depending on the game you want to play, there may be some instructions you need to follow first. For example, for Overwatch, you'll need to install some packages in order to get the Battle.net launcher working. But luckily, the install instructions do a great job of guiding you through the process. Once you've done that though, it's as simple as clicking install on the website and you should be good to go. Just like with Steam and Proton, your mileage may vary with getting games running through Lutris. But if you make sure to check the website and have a read through the install instructions and some of the user issues, you can get a surprising amount of games working. One thing to note is, most of the games that don't work on Linux through Steam or Lutris are down to crappy anti-cheat software. If these issues ever get resolved, and unfortunately it kinda has to come from the anti-cheat software, a lot of the games that don't currently work suddenly will work. So fingers crossed Easy Anti-Cheat and the like get their act together. Now, I know this guide has been fairly basic and there are a number of steps you can take to get better performance on Linux. But even so, this guide should serve its purpose as a quick start guide for new users who just want to get their games working. Now, I'm sure some of you thought it would be a lot more difficult to get up and running with gaming on Linux, but actually these days, thanks to Steam and Lutris, it's never been easier to play games on Linux. I've been using it now almost exclusively for two and a half months and I have to say, I'm actually very happy with my setup. And I say almost exclusively because I'm still dual booting with Windows to use the Adobe Suite, but that's something that I'm looking to change at some point. I'll probably put together a more advanced guide at some point in the future, but I'm gonna need to do a little more research before that happens. And actually, I'd really appreciate some feedback from you guys on that. Let me know what you'd recommend to squeeze a little more performance out of your games on Linux. Also, look out for my Linux installation guide that I'll be putting together soon. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please feel free to subscribe for more gaming guides, news and discussion. And don't forget to check out the links below to Patreon, Discord and Twitch. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.